Hey guys, I'm outside, so if you hear any noise, barking, I'm outside. But today I just wanted to go over a lesson that I learned um, and that I'm actually having to like actually like learn, <laughs> which is that obedience is most of the time going to be uncomfortable. Like obedience is not going to be, you know, the most comfortable thing. You're going to have to do stuff that you're not comfortable with doing. You're going to have to say yes to things you're not comfortable with saying yes to. You're gonna have to say no to things that you once said yes to so obedience is a whirlwind of um emotions in a world with situations because you're doing things that you're not used to doing and you're stepping into the unfamiliar but we have to remember that though we step into the unfamiliar we serve a very familiar god so it's like we know what he's done for us in the past so there's no way he's moving us forward he's elevating us and he's gonna put us in a horrible situation like no he's gonna continue to grow us and so sometimes that growth is uncomfortable sometimes that growth isn't exactly what we expect it to be um and i think that's because like often like we think we're going into the exact same like situation as we like last as we were once in We think we're going right back into the exact same situation, but as every new level that we step into in our lives, there's a new situation, a new problem that arises. Like, we're not, every single time we continue to grow, we're going to face different challenges. You're not going to face the same challenge that you faced five years ago, hopefully. You're not going to face that because you've overcame that challenge. So now you're more resilient. Now you trust God more. Now your faith is, um, grown more god can give you a different challenge and he knows you can handle it god will never give us anything that is far beyond what we can handle far beyond what we can imagine he won't give us that right and with every temptation he provides a way out so today i just wanted to remind somebody that obedience requires you to do things that you're uncomfortable with guys but when we that that result that we reap is beyond our imaginations like we will ask god for a a slice of the cake and he will give us a whole three layer cake as long as we're obedient and we don't eat it when he says we can't eat it as long as we're obedient and we don't touch it if he tells us not to touch it as long as we're obedient and take that slice that he's given us and share it with somebody else even if that means we can't get the full slice to ourselves so obedience requires uncomfortability obedience is very uncertain at times and obedience is hard you know and it's not about being obedient in the big things that everybody can see like do not murder do not steal like it's not about being obedient in the big things it's about being obedient with the small things being obedient with the little things god tells us not to do you know being obedient to god telling us things and murmuring things in our ear it's about being obedient in those things and showing god that Yes, these little things you're telling me, I can listen to these. I can choose your way instead of mine. And we will fall, we will backslide. We're human beings, so we're going to do that. But God isn't counting how many times you backslid. God isn't counting how many times you chose your way over his. What he's counting is your heart posture when you do that. What he's counting is your mind when you do that. God realizes that we were born into a world and a society that puts labels of anxiety and stress and disorders on us. And he's realizing that day to day, we're constantly fighting those lives of the enemy, right? So he understands that if you told, if he told you to go up and talk to somebody and you ended up not doing it, he understands that anxiety that the world has tried to embed in you since birth. He understands that it's hard to overcome that. So we also have to remember that on that other side of obedience being um, uncomfortable and hard, we also need to understand that we serve a very, very merciful God. We serve a God that loves us and cares for us and knows our situation knows what hurts us knows what we've been through so he's very slow to anger and he's quick to work with us through our struggles and through the things that we go through so obedience might not be the funnest thing it might not be the easiest thing but at the end of the day it's one of the most rewarding things ever when you know that you can be obedient to the god you serve and the more and more you get obedient with god the more he's quick to quicker to bless you he will bless you immediately like that obedience like you want blessings to come fast but you don't you take forever to be obedient to him and we need to be reciprocal in our relationships so that's the lesson for today obedience requires sacrifice but we're not sacrificing a goat or a sheep like we used to do way back when 
Our obedience requires sacrifice of our desires. It requires sacrifice of what we want to do. It it desires a sacrifice of the plans that we have. It desires a sacrifice of the things that we used to do, our old ways of thinking, our old habits. It requires a deeper sacrifice.